Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is a chilly start to another day in the Mid-South. We're looking at some dry conditions for right now, but we're probably going to be seeing some nicer conditions on the other side of the New Year's holiday. We'll talk more about what that looks like coming up here in just a little bit. If you got any plans for being out and about, we'll talk more about it on our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Again, continuing to see some fairly quiet conditions in the Mid-South area, but not seeing too much to worry about in the way of dry weather when it comes to snowfall. We may see again a little bit of snow showers possible into the Mid-South over the course of the next couple of days, but much of what we're going to be looking at for right now is going to again be the potential of some more areas of light snow showers into the Mid-South as we go into the rest of the forecast, and that'll be mainly again for this late into the weekend rest of the year forecast area. We'll talk more about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. If you got questions about the forecast, please drop them into the comments section and we'll do our best to answer as many of them as we can, especially for areas around East Arkansas, West Tennessee, and Northern parts of Mississippi. Be glad to have you along for the ride. So stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 with more information about that. So stick around for more on that forecast. If your points beyond the Mid-South area, definitely want to stick around. We'll have more details on what's going on for your forecast coming up here in just a little bit. So stick around for more information on that. Going live now to our Facebook camera. Thank you very much to everybody for sticking around for this morning. And again, decently quiet into the area for right now. We could be again seeing the possibility of some snow showers in and around the Mid-South. Very light in nature as we get into around the early parts of Sunday. Beyond that, we just don't really see too much of anything going on at this time. So again, great news for anybody who's going to be traveling. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Information about what's going on via the roadways and also taking a look at what's happening in the air industry as well. If you are going to be traveling or if you know somebody else who's traveling, we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. Let's go ahead and get started with some of our webcams for this morning. Again, currently seeing temperatures very much on the chilly side. Doesn't quite look that way at Heidelberg Elementary this time. Michael and Tabitha Hall, uh, Neil, pardon me, from Decatur Ville. So sorry about that, but Facebook is about two-point video type, and these bifocals don't like stuff like that. Heidelberg Elementary, one of our weather bug cameras from Clarksdale, Mississippi, showing off a decent amount of sunshine out there. No earthquakes to report along the New Madrid fault line or in subsidiary areas. So again, if you'd like to know more about this, check out the information from the United States Geological Survey or our own Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. That's memphis.edu slash CERI. If you felt anything from any of these earthquakes, tell them about it by going to the Did You Feel It page for the earthquakes on those pages. If they're in that area and you did feel something, fill out a Did You Feel It report. You don't have to have a PhD to participate in scientific studies and a great opportunity for you to help fill in the gaps of information for graduate students or seismic studies, anything like that. If you got a telescope for the holiday, if you gave or got one as a gift, stay tuned because we've got some information coming up that you might like to know about starting next week week about how to use that telescope if you're a novice when it comes to astronomy. More on that coming up in just a little while. Currently in Germantown, City Hall camera, Poplar Pike and Germantown Road, decently quiet right along the railroad tracks and looking off toward the Poplar and Mendenhall Towers area. Not much happening here. A few clouds up there and temperatures finally above freezing. Very dry, 40% humidity right now and humidity back to about 26%. So a decently chilly start to the day, but not as cold as it was. A little bit of cloud cover, downtown Memphis moving our direction into the rest of the morning out there. Grady Bennett, welcome to the show. And uh, thanks a lot. 30 degrees in Bartlett. Uh, thanks a lot for stopping by. Stacy Dowdy, Somer, Tennessee. Bart Thompson, what happened to global warming? It's still going on. And thanks to the fossil fuels that we use, pumping more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, it's going to be continuing. Just because you have a cold snap in one area does not discount count global warming. Likewise, like Senator Jim Imhoff taking a snowball onto the Senate floor, that also does not do anything to dispute global warming. Just because you have snow around does not do anything to disprove global warming, or as we like to call it, climate change. So again, global warming is still taking place, and we are doing our best to cause that by using the fossil fuels out there that we use. We can change on that, we can make some differences, and we hopefully will speed that up into the course of the next several years, if at all 
possible, not to mention we've got plenty of free energy coming down from the sun that we can use very easily. So what happened to it? Still going on. We're helping to cause it. There it is. So glad you asked about that. Right now, again, seeing some heavy amounts of traffic and also a lot of fossil fuels being used as we look down toward I-40 and Sycamore View for right now. And also along the flyover, traffic is moving along very well at this point in time. And we'll continue again to see, again, hopefully some good driving conditions out there into Sunday. But we may see, again, the potential of maybe a few snow showers out there. Now, for people traveling by air, either you or somebody you know, Traffic of air proportion moving along well into and around Memphis International Airport and mainly sunny skies being reported at 240 and airways for the time being. Winds light out of the east at about 7, so we do have a little bit of a wind chill going on for the time being. Now, the main thing to take a look at is this icon right here. Again, the green airplane indicates delays of 15 minutes or less, and that means good travel conditions, little if anything showing up in the ways of delays at Memphis International Airport. You can get them uh, by their Twitter handle at Fly Memphis if you'd like to see more there. Likewise, not seeing a lot of problems throughout the rest of the continental United States. Major and connecting airports not seeing any delays at this time. Memphis, uh, Miami International was slow early this morning, right around sunrise, but that since has gone by the wayside, so good travel conditions and minimal delays being reported. If you'd like to see this information, go to our website at wreg.com slash weather, or you can get it directly from the Federal Aviation Administration on their Air Traffic Control System Command Center, easily enough remembered at fly.faa.gov if you'd like to follow around along with what's going on. A lot of people in motion over the next several days as we get to close to the end of the holidays and people head back to work or school, so Stay tuned. We'll keep you updated on this as we go throughout the next several days out there. Storm Tracker 3S radar, nothing to show you at about 20 minutes until 11 o'clock on Friday morning. Clean sweeps across the entire Mid-South, so little, if anything, going on here. Now, our next storm system getting organized out this direction. We thought it was going to be taking more of a course to go into the Mid-South area from the Northwest, but we may see, again, the potential of the storm system getting a little bit closer to us, but it looks like for right now, the storm system is going to be making its way across the Rockies down into the Plain States and going more to the west of the Mid-South area and that's important when it comes to our forecast because if this thing digs down to the south of us we're not going to be seeing much of anything else uh, into and around the area. Uh, Bethany Bircher, my goddaughter from Topeka, Kansas, welcome to the show. Supposed to get frigid here on New Year's Eve. Wind chills of minus 15 to minus 30 at worst. That sounds about right. I was on the phone with my mom uh, last night, and it sounds like you're going to be getting a pretty good Arctic blast with this system coming on through back into Topeka. Say hello to uh, Ricky, your dad, and the brand new Corgi, by the way. I forget his name. I think it's PJ or something like that. So uh, welcome to the show. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in uh, for that. My goddaughter for everybody. David Kustoff, welcome to the show on Periscope and Twitter. Thank you very much uh, for tuning in so far this morning. Now, for the current time, temperatures are a lot better at this point in time. PJ, I remember the name. I was either that or something else involving the J. I wasn't too sure, but welcome to the show for the new pooch, the new corgi at House Bircher. Thank you very much for that. Currently, back in the Mid-South, we've got temperatures back in the lower to mid-30s, live, real-time, on-your-side weather. For most of the area, decently chilly, but these are the warmest numbers. No, I'm not kidding about that. For the Mid-South, as we've gone throughout the rest of the morning, Temperatures will continue to be on the milder-er side as we go into the rest of the day, but not much of anything else beyond that at this point in time. Love29526, welcome to the show on Periscope and Twitter for this morning. Thanks for joining us. A pretty chilly weekend coming up, and these will be seeming like warm numbers as we go into the next couple of days, so stay tuned for more there. Let's run the numbers and show you what we've got going on into the rest of the day. Maximum temperatures with the sunshine, if we get enough of that, and the winds relatively light and kind of scattered around the area will be, again, a little bit on the less breezy side, so that should help on the temperatures uh, at this point in time. I'm not too sure if he has a Periscope account. That might be him, but it is possible. Uh, Alex Coleman wondering if that's uh, Congressman David Kustoff on uh, Periscope. If it is, please let us know and say hello, Mr. Kustoff, or Congressman Kustoff, if that is you. So thank you very much uh, for dropping on by. My wife, Melissa alford onick checking in. Nice to see you on there, babe. Thanks for watching for this morning. Currently, again, into the rest of the day today, again, going to be seeing the possibility of some fairly mild numbers out there for right now. And again, we're going to be seeing the possibility of uh, mostly dry conditions out there. Jay Moon 901, thanks for joining us on Periscope this morning. Uh, if you're just joining us and are new to this, 
This is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. We try to update you on this at least a couple of times a day. So again, if you'd like to know more, drop your questions about the forecast or your location and your weather reports into the comments section. We'd love to see what the weather's like where you are, either in the Mid-South or points beyond. So stick around for more on that. And as for right now, again, looking at fairly mild conditions considering where we have been and where we're going back to on the temperatures coming up relatively soon. Now into tonight as News Channel 3 at 10 with Jim Jaggers signs off. If you're going to be sticking around for the forecast, check out his forecast for later on today. What we're going to be seeing is the winds at first coming in out of the south. Notice the moving lines on screen here, the arrows going up from south to north. Then back to the west of us, we've got winds coming in from out of the northwest. That is going to be our next cold front coming on through. And by the time I'm on the air with daybreak tomorrow morning, winds are going to be turning around to the northwest. That doesn't sound like a big problem right now. But we may see, again, uh, the possibility of some much cooler weather as we get into the weekend. J Moon 901 on Periscope, absolutely. Thanks for joining us for today, and stick around uh, for more. And everybody on Facebook as well, thanks for coming to the show uh, for this morning at this point in time. Uh, what's the movement on the map? Melissa Alfredonic. Air currents, yes, that's uh, winds at the surface. So tomorrow morning, winds will be turning around from the northwest. Action East Northeast 4, thanks for joining us or on uh, Periscope. Thanks for stopping on by. Now, notice also the gray colors on screen down toward the surface. That's cloud cover, so it's going to be getting a lot more cloudy as our next storm system blasts on through here. And not that much to show in the way of clear skies all the way into around the early part of 2018. Now, lots of questions about the potential for snow out there. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a comment from my wife involving a snow bagel or something that has that target zone mist where it comes to anything involving snow after seeing this. Yesterday, the potential for snow was a lot greater in the Mid-South area as we see a lot of that stacking up back to the west of us. Now, this is not huge potential for snow, that's for certain, but it is at least a little bit of some snow showers out there as we get into the last day of the year. Now, as we go into around the area close to New Year's Eve, getting into the later period of time, right across into around the area of New Year's Day early, right after the guitar drops on Beale Street, there will be more chances of some snow showers taking place, some accumulation, not much more than a dusting, mainly across northern third of Mississippi and southeastern Arkansas. A lot of that looks like it's going to miss the Mid-South. Now, this could change either direction over the course of the next couple of days. But so far, this is looking a lot less like we're going to be getting anything in the way of snow. There was a lot of chances of snow coming up, light snow coming up from what we saw yesterday. Now, the computer models about 24 hours closer to the event are showing less of a chance of anything involving snowfall out there. So really just not great chances all the way on through. Now this, again, looking here, this is the chances of snow. We're going to overlay the chances of freezing precipitation on this in the pink with the black contour outlines here. This is where we see that potential of maybe some sleet mixed with some type of freezing rain, depending on that temperature layer several thousand feet up. Some of that could fall as snowfall, again, in parts of the area, but a lot of this appears to be more of a freezing rain sleet scenario, depending on the temperatures several thousand feet up. So this is a potential problem for travelers south of Oxford, Batesville, down to around Jackson, maybe as far south as I-20. Could be something to worry about there. Southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, middle Mississippi, and maybe into western and northwest Alabama as we get into the later portion of the weekend. But most of this, again, not looking at a lot of this for the Mid-South area, we could be seeing again the possibility of this missing a lot of the Mid-South at this point in time. Kevin Dunn, Memphis doesn't get snow. Uh, yeah, we do. We're just not looking to do this. And uh, as to your comment about Kroger paying the weatherman, if there has ever been a grocery store meteorologist connection, I have never been invited to that party. So no idea if that's true or not, because I haven't been, again, anywhere close to that. So you'll have to ask one of the other weather people in town if they have, because it certainly is not me. Now, into the rest of the forecast. As we go through today, temperatures a little bit more slightly mild-ish, milder sort of. We'll be back in the lower 40s for highs. 
clouds at times. It'll be cloudy at times. It'll be sunny at others. So we'll get some sunshine in there. With those southerly winds, that should bump the temperatures up by just a bit. Now tomorrow that front arrives and the temperatures try to make it into the upper 30s, but that's about as far as we get. The main thing tomorrow is going to be the winds. Behind that front, winds will be out of the northwest and will start to be breezy. So if you're heading for the Liberty Bowl tomorrow, University of Memphis versus Iowa State, Maximum temperatures at about, say, maybe halftime or so at the game kicks off at about 1130, about the mid to upper 30s. There's going to be a pretty stiff breeze out there for most of the day. So expect a good wind chill in that Liberty Bowl tomorrow and dress up ahead of time for that. You're going to need everything out there, the jersey uh, to cover up with, the coat, the scarf, the gloves, the hat, everything to make certain that you got everything covered over just to be on the safe side because we're talking about some pretty cold weather for here even colder as we go into the last day of the year. Now, we're not going to put anything in here in the way of precipitation for right now because I just don't see anything happening at this time involving snowfall that's going to accumulate for most of the area. Now, Oxford, Batesville, Clarksdale, into that area, you might see the possibility of some snow showers, maybe some accumulation down that direction, but confidence is not high at this time. So this is going to be about as good as it gets. The main story for the end of the year is going to be the temperature, 25 for the high on Sunday. And that's as good as it gets at the maximum point. By the time you get into around the guitar drop, midnight around Beale Street, temperatures will be in the teens. And if those winds continue out there through the evening, which they're expected to, you could be seeing wind chills on Beale Street or outdoor activities in the Mid-South down into the single digits. So we're talking about a very cold start to 2018 and a very cold finish to 2017. Now, maybe some flurries linger into around early on Monday. High temperatures on Monday, lower 20s, and that's it. A lot of schools, a lot of businesses getting back to work very early on January 2nd. So out at the bus stop, as we get toward early Tuesday morning, not the morning to grab the jacket and a ball cap. Again, the kids are going to need something to ward off that chill to where you could be looking at frostbite for exposed skin. Yes, it's going to be that dangerous. So please make certain that everybody is ready for that as we get into the new year. Now, after that, we tried to make freezing on Wednesday. Another burst of cold air coming in on Thursday, but plenty of sunshine at least. So again, open up the blinds and the drapes and get some free solar heating going on to help out your utility bill. Going toward next weekend, the first weekend of 2018, a lot nicer. Temperature's about 40 on Saturday, very close to where we are right now, so it takes a long time just to crawl back out of the icebox. And then close to normal by next week Sunday, and still not seeing anything in the way of major inclement weather taking place, so good news on that as we get into the course of the next couple of days, so no problems at all there from what we can see. Join me for the forecast throughout the weekend as we ring in the new year on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. If you got or received, if you received or gave a telescope for the holidays, next week Friday evening, the Memphis Astronomical Society will be holding their annual How to Set Up and Use Your New Telescope meeting. That'll be held at 8 o'clock next Friday, January 5th, on the campus of Christian Brothers University in Central Memphis at Assisi Hall. And if you'd like to know more about that, all you have to do is go to the website, www.memphisastro.org. And you can also find out more, again, on their Facebook page as well. Great opportunity to learn more. Again, that starts at 8 o'clock. And as you get the stuff set up, hopefully, again, going to be about mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. We'll tell you more about that as we go throughout the next few days. But as of right now, if you're heading out, they will be doing the opportunity to get out into the parking lot around the Christian Brothers area and set up the telescopes and look through the scopes for the first time. So if you know somebody who got a telescope or gave it in the Mid-South and they would like to know more about how to use it, here's your opportunity. More information about this on my various social media pages. My forecast coming up with Bob and Josh bright and early starting next Tuesday morning as we get into the new year. So stay tuned for more with them on TalkBack Live and at their website, TalkBackLiveNetwork.com. Org. And, of course, we'll have more with your forecast on News Channel 3 tonight, starting on First at 4, and Jim Jagger's forecast all the way through News Channel 3 at 10 later on this evening. More information, again, contact me on my social media web pages. Love to have you along for the ride. We'll talk about weather where the troops are coming up tomorrow on our daybreak edition of Weather Overtime and talk about what weather is like for those people who couldn't make it home for the holidays because they're still on duty somewhere overseas. So if you have friends or loved ones out there, we'll take a look at various military 
assignment posts around the globe and show you what it looks like there. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. That'll do it for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We've got a lot more to come throughout the rest of the day. News Channel 3 at noon will be on a little early today at 1130, thanks to the basketball game coming up at noon. I believe it's Louisville against Kentucky, so stay tuned for that. And, of course, we'll have more with Jim Jaggers coming up later on tonight on News Channel 3. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a complete update of your forecast on Friday morning's edition of News Channel 3's